welcome back to the VST channel. This here is my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I've been using it already since 10 days on the very latest One UI 6, the November update, which is the version B, WJM, it's only 340 megabytes and includes security patches. We're gonna cover this. Why am I doing this video, guys? I wanted to give you some heads up on the phone performance. And please note, I've been using my phone since already almost 11 days, straight for 200 and almost 60 hours without any restart. And, and this is really important. Why? Because every time you restart your phone, specifically if it's a Samsung phone, probably any other phone, it will behave better. Right, and then at some point it might stall. Now here, guys, this is the proof I'm using uptime to show you that my phone is running straight for 10 days and 18 hours. Again, on the latest version, and I wanted to check the animations with you and some of the other things that I always look after Samsung updates. Something very important, guys, because that's mainly a security patch. You can go here on the Samsung mobile security and check all the patches that are implemented in the security update. And for the November, it's been really a lot of critical vulnerabilities fixing, also some high criticality and really good work from the Samsung team to stay up to date with fixing the security of our phones. But that's not why we're here, right? We're here because we wanted to check some of the performance. And the first thing I always start is check how responsive is my phone. And specifically this animation used to fail when I was using S21 and S22, and I believe now Finally, Samsung was able to fix this. No more stutters. When I try to access here my settings on the home screen, it works perfect in both modes, in the horizontal and also in the vertical mode. It's all flawless and you can just see it here, no stutter whatsoever. So I now can confirm that specifically executing this animation is not going to cause any problems. So now, also have in mind, I am not closing any of my apps. So I have a lot of applications opened and this is also important for the testing and I wanted to show you inside my developers options what is the situation with the memory because yesterday i've been having some chats with some of you on the vst chat and it's important to note that eight gigabytes of my 12 are already used the total ram of the s23 ultra my version s 12g right but you can just see that i only have available almost 3g ram and if i click here guys you can just check the memory usage up by up and it's not a secret that the android os and one year home is taking almost like three and a half gigabytes so it's really a lot but also you can go and you can check this allocation for the past one days and you should know that under device care there is the option for you to add additional memory now my tests with adding this ram plus on the previous one year five were not great so i used to disable this right now i wanted to test it on one year six since that's already a stable version and we got a second update so in this particular version of my phone, I'm using RAM Plus with AG, which might explain a bit the situation. Now, One Year 6 is all brand new and it's still the same, but there's some new things. You probably watched my full video on One Year 6. One of the highlights, guys, definitely is here, this new updated quick panel. And also, guys, we have a new media player that is one of the best I've seen, honestly, on a phone. So I kind of like the design. It does also work on the lock screen every time you change a song you know you get this nice design this is right now spotify and of course there is also this way for moving around now let me demonstrate to you what happens when i try to unlock my phone honestly i never been happier with the s23 ultra in terms of unlock and the ultrasonic right now is really a must for me i've been using the xiaomi 14 pro and the other phones like google pixel 8 pro and guys ultrasonic is ultrasonic but just pay attention on the speed really very fast and very flawless. Now let me just guide you around my phone so that we can get an idea about uh, the user interface and the smoothness. If I go to the left, boom. And even doing this swipe with some of the previous one year versions, uh, even on my S23 Ultra was problematic and caused the phone to stutter. Not anymore, right? I can also access the app drawer, all the search functions are there and I have 331 applications. But now let's check the animations. If I open the folders, not a problem at all. All seems to be very smooth, I would say. Now, let me just try to open some of the apps. So opening Telegram here, opening Messenger, opening Facebook, opening Viber. You can just see it really works as expected. Opening Twitter as well. Every time I do scroll here, going to the recent menu. So 
animation perspective seems to be improved in One UI 6, although if I am now to open a widget, still see the closing of the widget animation is somehow still broken and that's what people are complaining. I'm also complaining with this. I don't really like the way this is handled, but right now I'm already getting used to this. So at this point of time, I don't know if this is going to be like this. Maybe this is really what Samsung thinks it should be. So maybe it's not broken. Maybe we just don't understand it. And maybe this is the new standard for closing widgets. Forget about this. It's not so important. Let's now open the camera, switch the camera, guys. Open, close, see, even switching the camera and going through all the modes, guys, and open and closing the camera. It's absolutely flawless. And this was not the case with some of the previous version. Now, let me demonstrate something, guys. When I'm navigating through my phone, I reach 120 hertz. The moment I open the camera, boom, it's locked on 60 hertz. So this going from 120 hertz and change to 60 hertz, I believe that this was the reason for this camera opening and closing animation to be stuttery and to lock. But it seems that Samsung fixed this right now because I can keep this all day long and it will not really stutter. So see here, or maybe it will just stutter, but it's going to be very minor. And technically the phone display is dropping the refresh rate from 120 hertz to 60 hertz. And if I stay on the camera viewfinder, pay attention, it's always here 60 hertz. Now, something very important, guys, this here is hertz in refresh rate, right? It's not FPS. So the refresh rate is a different thing. It really shows you what the screen is able to do here in a second, right? And the FPS is how much frames your GPU is able to handle. So let's say you can play a game at 120 hertz, right? But your phone is able to only produce 60 frames per second. So you're gonna have 120 images, right, rendered on your screen, but technically you still will have only 60 frames per second rendered from the game. So refresh rate is not frames per second, is a different idea and I wanted to share this with you. Since I'm checking all the apps opening and closing, you can do this also with Chrome, which is usually very heavy. You can just see it works quite nicely. And Samsung stock applications, guys, take a look here at my dialer. Like it's almost really feels like a proper animation. Even some people think that they copied the animation from One UI 5.1.1. I don't have a way to compare it. I don't have a device running One UI 5.1.1, but it seems to be almost like non-linear, which means that when I trigger this and I trigger recent menu, I'm almost able to interrupt the animations, not 100% technically, right? So I don't really think it's 100% non-linear, but it looks very fluid and it's very close. Now, let me show something else. I have here this little helper that can help me to test things like split screen. So this here will bring me my Twitter and my Telegram. Let's try to just change the view. Okay, very flawless by the way, very smooth. So now I'm gonna go full screen on Twitter. Let me try and minimize the Twitter. I can move it around where I want. And if I don't like it, boom, I can minimize it. So let me just open Telegram. Let's scroll down. Let's use here this gesture to also bring Telegram in a pop-up mode. I can also try to minimize Telegram. So technically, I'm very pleased with the way the phone works. So I only hope that Samsung will just take this and keep on improving. Now let's move to the battery sections. I've been using the phone for 10 days, as you know, and I wanted to share the results. Uh, Samsung received some hate when they redesigned the battery stats because right now you cannot really tell how much your sod is, guys. So if you click today, you can just see some statistic. For example, yesterday, guys, my battery usage was 107% for five hours, right? And you can just see it started in the morning, then I did some tops up. So technically I'm still getting something like five to six hours. Even if I am not trying to charge the phone, even today, see here guys, right now I only left with 50% of the battery. I already have like two hours and 17. I'm a heavy mobile user, a lot of 5G, a lot of data, a lot of using the phone outside and also heavy camera user. But still the battery life isn't that bad, right? Just the way they change the statistics is a bit confusing for the people. But you can also see on Reddit, a lot of people are happy with the battery life from one year six, the November update. And with that said guys, I think I can conclude the video. It's really stable. Some things still have to be fixed. There are some minor bugs here and there, but overall I think it really becomes a full-fledged product the way it should be and probably it's going to be one of the best phones for the 2023. If that's also what you think, sub for the channel, leave a like down below and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching VST over and bye.